Our last job is to clean this up a bit. For a start off, it's a nice big graph, but only a small portion of it is actually useful. So we can decide we don't need this. Click on your axis, right click, format axis. Now we want a minimum and a maximum value. Our minimum value now is 50, so we could start our graph at 40, lose lots of space. So we look for axis options. We have a look at minimum and maximum. We want a fixed minimum and a fixed maximum. The minimum I'm going for is 40. Maximum, oop, don't know, 100, 110. Fixed maximum, 110. OK. Does that look a lot better? And likewise, we can go over here, click on the axis, right click, format axis, minimum we need is round about, I think, 30. Maximum, again, can't see it anymore, round about 140 would be fine. Delete, 140, and close. Suddenly, we only see the useful part of our graph. Now, sometimes, we need to move this again, it's been moved around, etc. I decide I want that a bit bigger. Might not, that's fine. Sometimes we need to see the origin, zero, zero, but in this case, we do not. Our last job is to actually clean up the labels, then they're finished. So we can collect this, select all. Oh, a title. I guess I saved that before. Bit too big, bit messy, select it all. The usual deal. Start making it a bit smaller. That looks good to me. Move it somewhere useful. How does that look? Looks good to me. Over here, axis title. What do I want to call this? How about temperature of the liquid surrounding the egg in degrees Celsius? Of course, you could quickly go up to home, insert symbol, and put your proper degrees Celsius symbol in. Horizontal axis, and we want to call this heart rate of embryonic chickens, and a unit, of course, beats per minute. Check my typing. Oh, I knew there'd be a mistake somewhere. Backspace. And that's it. To me, that's looking like a pretty good graph now.